If you're doing any sort of video production and you are finding my videos useful, then I think you're going to want to know about these other five channels which will be useful too. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec and in this video I'm going to basically be talking about other people's YouTube channels for a change and I'm guessing really that most of these people will already know about because I'm just at my uh, just over 100 subscribers, 125, 26, something like that uh, and all of these channels I'm going to show you are into the thousands so probably you will have heard of most of them <laughs> but uh, I do know that some people haven't necessarily heard of all of them so that's the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, I did a, a live stream uh, the week before last which I'll link to in the description where I talked about all of the different things that I did before actually launching my channel so my channel's only been going for uh, just less than 50 days and I've been posting a video a day to it and uh, yeah I as I say did a live stream all about the preparation I made before actually launching the channel and one of the things I covered in that live stream was five other YouTube channels that I watched that I got lots of great information from uh, before I actually made a start. And so that is the point of this uh, video. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to get straight on into my screen sharing and uh, you're probably going to see some familiar faces here. Uh, but as I say, maybe some of them you haven't heard about. So the first one is... Uh, the master <laughs> Caleb Pike over at DSLR video, video shooter and he's been uh, doing this for uh, over a decade now creating videos all about how to create video uh, specifically using DSLR cameras uh, but now also talking about lighting and all sorts of other things like that uh, so ATEM minis and so on the thing that's really great about this is not just his overall style and the way that he uh, uh, does things in his tutorials uh, but it's also the fact that there is such a wealth of uh, material there and even if you are using a slightly older camera and by slightly older I'm talking about my camera is a, a Canon EOS 60D a 10 year old camera and uh, believe it or not there's still uh, reviews and things like that about how to get the best out of it in terms of video and uh, DSLR Video Shooter is the channel to go to for that because as I say he's been around for over a decade and uh, it just really inspires me to see all of his videos and uh, whilst I am working off a 10 year old camera and some rather uh, low budget lights at the moment uh, it does give me uh, some inspiration to create my dream studio at some point in the future using all of his information and knowledge and, uh, and insights so I highly recommend that channel. I'll be leaving a link to that down in the description as well, obviously, and I'll put a card up in the top corner linking to it. If I can do that, I think I can. <laughs> so uh, definitely one to check out. Now, if uh, he is covering uh, mainly video, he does cover audio as well, but if you want the sort of uh, the audio version of that, then I'd recommend this next one, which is Podcastage. And Bandrew over at Podcastage uh, basically just deals with purely audio and any microphone that you're thinking that you might want to uh, get or you want a review of, you can be pretty sure that he's done it and he does reviews of microphones, audio interfaces and so on. And when I was looking for a microphone, so I've got the Shure MV7, I did a re my review of that over uh, and I'll leave a link to uh, that in the description uh, but uh, Bandrew's review is probably a little bit more thorough from a technical standpoint <laughs> because he is at the end of the day a far more um, uh, knowledgeable audio expert than I am but yeah it's a really great uh, page a really great channel rather where you can find as I say reviews uh, in-depth reviews on all sorts of different audio gear so if you're not aware of that that is podcastage so then, uh, that's my audio and my camera and lighting sorted. <laughs> I watched hours of their videos in order to get my uh, setup uh, the way that I wanted it, uh, within my uh, limitations, I should say. Uh, now, the next uh, channel is probably the thumbnail master, <laughs> Mr. Tom Buck. And uh, I do believe, and I've said it many times before, he does have the nicest thumbnails in the business. I'm not entirely happy with my thumbnails and uh, I'm sure that comes as no surprise. Uh, I don't really have uh, the, uh, the time to do them quite to the level that Tom does because he really does make a... Uh, uh, a real example of exactly what you can do with a thumbnail and have it still have... Uh, uh, a level of uniqueness and interest that mine are certainly lacking. So one day I will aspire to <laughs> match his uh, creativity in that space. In fact, I'll leave a link to the video he did all about how he makes his thumbnails because that in itself is a great video. But Tom is a great uh, 
resource for all things about creating video content in general and specifically more kind of like the sort of stuff I am doing uh, because he does a similar sort of format sitting in front of a desk uh, giving uh, tutorials and uh, explainer videos and things like that so yes watching his um, his content was a real big help to me when I was trying to figure out how I was going to get things set up and uh, yeah it certainly gives me something to aim for in terms of uh, quality of production. <laughs> so that is Mr. Tom Buck. Now the next one is somebody who maybe you might not have heard of if you are coming from the sort of Ecamm uh, community. Uh, this is somebody called Alex Lindsay. Uh, and his channel is Alex Lindsay, <laughs> L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. And he is coming from a, uh, a sort of different level of video production, really. So uh, he worked for ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, on the uh, Star Wars movies and has done lots of really sort of high level video production work. Uh, he's also been into live streaming from for quite a number of years now. And he was responsible for a lot of the really, really high profile uh, Google Hangouts streams that were put out so such as the Barack Obama stream from the White House uh, a number of times and various other you know really sort of high level uh, live stream uh, live streamed events admittedly these weren't done with software such as Ecamm Live they were more with uh, more technical uh, video production gear and hardware rather as opposed to software but nevertheless he's coming to it with a wealth of experience obviously and for the past year since uh, well probably March 2020 I believe uh, he's been doing this thing called office hours now I know a lot of people have got their own office hours <laughs> but his office hours is basically a uh, it's free to go along to and it uh, was over zoom although they're taking it now more into their own uh, platform and basically it is a collection of uh, uh, if I just pull up some of his videos, it is a collection of experts in their fields and uh, all sort of audio visual guys and girls and uh, from all around the world. And as you can see, the uh, Zoom meetings that they have are broadcast over Skype and it is oh, sorry over <laughs> over YouTube and it is a daily thing for up to two hours a day. And the format of it is the first hour is just general Q&A and you can go along and be a part of it and you can ask any questions you've got related to audio visual matters and the panel will answer the questions for you and then in the second hour they have a sort of specialist uh, uh, hour where they talk about a specific topic and that could be uh, a package maybe DaVinci Resolve or something like that for video editing or maybe it's all about a particular audio interface or they'll have a showcase of a particular uh, person who's doing something interesting in the field of uh, streaming or audio visual and so on and so it there really is a wealth of knowledge there and as I say they've been doing it every day two hours for a year and that's Monday to Sunday, <laughs> literally every day. So if you go and have a look at that page, uh, that channel rather, there is really a wealth of information there. And what they're basically trying to do is they are trying to uh, get to the point where uh, it's been an evolution over time so that they can get to a point of having uh, really fully produced shows uh, that are controlled by all of the people involved in it. So you have some people, maybe the guy controlling the audio is in Australia, maybe the woman controlling the uh, color correct is in Arizona or wherever they are all over the world but they're all working together to actually create these productions and the other heavy focus that they have in there is all about education and the new way to take education online and rather than sort of mimicking uh, a classroom environment in an online environment uh, so you know fake whiteboards that people are writing on turning their back to the camera to try and teach the class in traditional methods uh, it's all about how to actually modernize the whole process of online education and from my perspective I find that really really interesting and engaging because as I've said before on my channel part of the reason for me to start this channel is for me to practice the uh, uh, the on-screen presentation skills in order to do a better job at delivering my course material for my other courses that are unrelated to this channel I could go on and on about all of the great things that Alex Lindsay is doing uh, but I suggest that you go and check him out for yourself if you haven't already and he's uh, probably considering uh, all of the great stuff he's doing at uh, I say only 7,000 followers <laughs> on uh, on you know, subscribers on YouTube uh, there's probably a few of you in the community that haven't heard about him but uh, probably should because I think we can all learn a great deal from him so as I say he is somebody that I've watched extensively as are all of the others and the fifth and final channel that I wanted to mention uh, obviously 
got to leave the best till last is Doc Rock. <laughs> I've found all of his uh, tutorials and his uh, the community that has been built around uh, you know him and the others involved in the community in the Ecamm Live community. He is also obviously the Ecamm Live uh, community manager, uh, but people like him, Diana Gladney, and so on, all doing uh, great things and uh, really building a. Uh, really sort of warm family environment within the community and uh, I just find you know if uh, uh, Caleb Pike is the audio uh, the visual guy uh, Bandrew is the uh, audio guy Tom Buck is doing all about online streaming and everything the thing about I find about Doc is just his absolute wealth of knowledge at all levels are across a vast spectrum of things I've rarely heard somebody fire out a question and the, the answer come back I'm not really sure about that <laughs> he can always go into a very deep level I'm sure most of the people who subscribe to my channel already are aware of him, but I just had to give him a mention and give props because uh, it's been a real help to me in actually launching this channel and all the things that I had to do in preparation for that. And I should also mention uh, Doc's office hours as well. So he has an office hours himself and you can get to that by going to buymeacoffee.com slash Doc Rock. And uh, there you can sign up and come and join in with our weekly calls every week where it's full of lots of like-minded uh, content creators uh, all doing their own thing in their own different unique ways and spaces and yet we've all got this common uh, passion and uh, enthusiasm for what we're doing and looking to help each other out on our YouTube journeys. I hope you found that useful and I do hope there were maybe one or at least two channels in there that you hadn't heard about that you can perhaps go and check out and you can learn something from them as I did as well. So that's all for this video. If you found this video useful, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and turn on some notifications and I'll get back to some other more content related videos uh, in the next one. But don't go anywhere because as always, I've got some more great videos coming up on the right hand side. And until next time, have a great day.